This video will go over how we're using uh, Microsoft 365 um, A5, which includes Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. It's something that I honestly just turned on a week or so ago, and I had my first kind of real incident uh, already. And I wanted to kind of go over it and show what the amazing amount of information is, is shared and you know collected, um, just so that others can see how how useful this tool can be. And, and you know, if you have A5 or E5, you have this tool and, and you may not even have it all turned on because I didn't have it turned on until just a little while ago. So my, my journey began in, um, in Endpoint uh, Manager. And in there, you, you configure uh, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. You have to set up a... Um, a policy to install the 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 endpoint uh, manager or manager is not the right word endpoint agent, um, and then it goes out and installs it on all your devices. You can see here I have um, 359 devices, 286 with it active. Uh, I'm not sure why the rest aren't active yet. Uh, it's something for me to look into. So you know once you've done that, you can then go over to the Defender uh, Security Center. And in there, there's there's a tremendous amount of information, but I just want to talk about incidents uh, right now because it's it's you know the thing that just amazed me. So I, I went in there today, honestly, and there's a, a, a what you know what it calls a multi-stage incident. And so when I click into there, it shows me um, all the the stuff that was happening with this. Um, and you can go into a particular one and, and see the, the details of everything that's, that's happening um, with that particular uh, uh, attack. Um, so in this case, it was the attempted installation of a malware. Um, and, you know, it was caught based upon it running suspicious PowerShell requests. Um, this is just amazing to me, you know, the amount of detail that's that's in here um, so that you can go in and and just see what's happening. I mean, luckily it caught it all. And, you know, there's not really much left for me to do. Uh, I've contacted the user to try to figure out what the user was doing when they when this happened. Um, but it, uh, it it caught it all. And this was totally automated. Um, that's the thing is, that, you know, it says here this this was a this was an automated um process. Um, there was nothing that I had to do uh, to to make this happen once I had enabled the the tool. Um, you can also go over to the um, security center uh, and see in there, you know, a, another a kind of view on it where you can see, you know, it started at 1257 and by 1258, it had been kind of captured and completed. Um, and you know you can walk through the the stages of of what happened, and and you know what exactly happened with it. So you know this is just I guess my plug for, hey, try out um, Microsoft Endpoint, uh, excuse me, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. If you have E5 or A5, um, just turn it on because it can do so much for you without much work on your part. So try it.